What is up guys, April K back with another video. In this video, I'll be going over, in my opinion, one of the best Arc 3.0 Hunter builds, in my opinion. Like, it's really good for raids, for dungeons, for nightfalls. It's really good. So, if this video does help you out, please leave a like and subscribe. And let's just get straight into the build. Okay, now we're going to leave with this build. We want every armor piece to be fire. So, learn and energy apart from the cloak. The cloak can be stasis. And you want to have 100 resilience. That's definitely what you're going to need more than anything. So, the helmet. By the way, everything isn't fully upgraded yet. So, this is the build without even being fully upgraded. It's still really good. But with the helmet, we're going to have resilience. Harmonic Siphon, double Harmonic Siphon, and then we're going to have Firepower. Now, on the arms, I have Shinobu's Vow. It improves skip grenades. I'm going to have um, I'm gonna have Resilience on Resilience mod. I'm going to have Fastball and Impact Induction. When damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. There's uh, one more you can put on, but I don't have it maxed out yet. And then you go to the chest piece. You also want this to be solar. The air to be solar apart from Cloak. This one, resilience. I have it on. Definitely need thermal shock plating and firepower. Those two things definitely put on. The, the firepower definitely stacks. And then I, put, I got me me melee damage resistance. Put it on if you want, or you could put on solar resistance. But I got um, melee damage resistance. And then for the legs, you want another pair of firepower, innovation, and. Reco reco recuperation hopefully if you really have really good mobility i mean really good resilience you can always just put this in discipline but my resilience wasn't the best so i had to make, I had to make sure i would max out my resilience first but if your resilience is really good for whatever role you get for your armor then put the rest into discipline i would say and then for my hunter cloak i have stasis and i have um plus five discipline and then i have lightning strikes twice after throwing an arc grenade, gain increased grenade recharge for a short time. Arc final blows extend the duration of this benefit. And then yeah, this, this is with everything being around level 8 in terms of armor pieces. So obviously if you, get, if you max it out, you have at least one more stat to put on there. That's going to help you. Now in terms of weapons, I am running the Arbalest. Out of Bounds is really good. Out of Bounds or Risk Runner. Any arc SMG, really good. And then I got Storm Chaser. You can use a Taipan if you want, a sword or a tractor cannon. But I like um, Storm Chaser and its arc, so that's what I'll be using. But yeah, I think it's really good. If you're doing raids, dungeons, nightfalls, this build's gonna get you around. It's gonna keep you alive with that 100 resilience, and these grenades are gonna be coming pretty fast. And if you have a discipline higher than mine, it's gonna be getting it even faster. But it's just a very, very strong hunter build. For every, especially for end game, you can just pretty much do most things, and it's great. Okay, so I have Gathering Storm on. It's what I prefer personally. My abilities: I have Marksman's Dodge, Triple Jump, Combination Blow, and Skip Grenade. Want to make sure you have the Skip Grenade one on. In terms of aspects, I have Lethal Current, Flow State, and then Fragments. We're gonna have Spark of Resistance, Spark of Discharge. Spark of Shock and Spark of Ions. And that's all the fragments you're going to need for this build. And yeah, well, tell me what you guys think of this build. It's absolutely amazing. It just shows everything. 